Welcome to the channel of Vital Spirituality. I am Vikram Atta Santosh Sharma, Astrologer. In this video, we will be talking about marital conflicts. Due to the pandemic situation, it is a lot of stress all around with the families, leading to frequent uh, fights in the house. But this is temporary. I am not talking about this particular phenomenon which is happening now, this time. I am talking in general. Generally, in, uh, it is seen that in some families, in like some couples, they keep on fighting from the day one. And the results are not known. Or the results can be created at any time. Small small issues can become very strong irritants and they get into different kind of arguments. They are not able to sit down together again for five minutes. There can be fights over the which one to watch or where to go, what to eat, what to cook, how to bring other children, how to look after the finances. So each and every issue can become a content, uh, a, a, a bone of uh, contention basically. So there are occasions day in and day out where the couples keep fighting. Sometimes the fighting become very verbal, they shout at each other, sometimes it becomes so uh, silence, in silence I would say, that nobody speaks to each other. Death like silence. So these situations are very, very bad in a relationship. When the couples fight, it influences the child, the children, those who are seeing the parents fight, they develop a, a kind of psychology which is not good for them. If the old parents are staying in the house and the husband and wife are fighting, then they also become very sad and depressed. So by your fighting, your mental conflicts, your differences, you are not only ruining your life, you are also ruining the life of the children and all around you. The purpose of making this video is not to give any kind of advice because it's a very personal thing. Whether you want to stay together or you want to go away from each other or you want to settle down for a peaceful set settlement, like you want to take action to solve the mental conflicts, then astrology can become a very powerful tool. You might have tried different kind of counseling, psychology counseling, you might have read different kind of books, how to bring in peace and harmony in marriages and it still does not worked out for you, then you must consider contacting an astrologer, a qualified astrologer. Because in the astrological chart, what will be analyzed is that both husband and wife, both the charts will be analyzed to understand how the Mars in play role. Mars and Rahu can create lot of disruptions and havoc in marriage. On the other hand, Saturn. Saturn can create a lot of sadness and loneliness in marriage. Venus can create a lot of dullness in marriage. No physical pleasures, no romance. Life is so sluggish, dull and boring. Moon in the chart depending on where it is sitting, with who's, who, which planet is sitting and which planet is looking at the moon. For example, Mars is looking at the moon, Rahu is looking at the moon, can create a lot of heat and anger. Saturn looking at the moon can create a lot of sadness and gloominess in this instance. So both the charts are carefully studied and remedial measures are to be recommended. So we at White of Spirituality, we analyze your problems, have to discuss one to one with the husband and wife together, separately. Make them understand about the operating system of each other and create an environment for progressing towards a settlement by using Rudraksh and gemstones. Even if you have decided that you should not stay in the relationship and you should move ahead, still you should consider the astrologer because by dissolving a marriage or taking a divorce and getting married again, it's not going to solve your problem because you are the same person. You repeat again the same mistakes and the same history with itself. Same thing will happen in the next marriage and will continue in your life. So it's better that you understand your operating system and rectify yourself. Take responsibility, stop blaming each other. When you take responsibility, you become powerful. To take responsibility, you must know about your weaknesses, your negativity and convert those negativity to positivity. Keep watching this video, share it and do subscribe. Thank you. You can log on to our website www.
whitelotusspirituality.com If you want to consult, then you can book online. If you want to buy Rudraksha and Gemstones, also you can buy through this website. Thank you very much. Press the bell icon to receive our videos in future and do subscribe. Thank you.